right guys, so we're down here at Extra Fit in Fibo and me and David Laid are hitting chest. So uh, nothing major, we're not going to go for any one rep max, any max weight, we do a bit more volume um, and yeah, get rid of some Ben and Jerry's ice cream we've just had. <laughs> Everything he said. Everything. Ryan used to be my wallpaper when I was like 12 years old, like I was a big fan. We started off with an incline dumbbell, worked up heavier and heavier, then we did a drop set at the end. We did two warm up sets, three working sets, and a triple drop set to finish. ripping my chest apart. I'm used to just doing like heavy bench press. We're doing some men's physique flies. Woo. You've never, you didn't train like, you haven't trained like this before? No, not in a long time. <laughs> I train more of like a powerlifting style. Like I'm kind of known for doing like a bench squat deadlift, like yeah. the powerlifting type. Final set of a triple drop set. So we're gonna go 20, 15, 10, and whatever he gets on the first, which we're hoping, hoping eight reps, we're gonna match on the, the second two drop sets. Good. 
So, deep chest. Four. Nice. Yes. Awesome. Oh. Good. All right, straight in, keep that focus. These ones are still there now. Now we go. Good. Come on, dig in. Now we work. Come on. Four, halfway, let's go. Five, I'm with you. Up, six, good. One more, one more. Up, good man. Perfect. Nice. That's one big one. There we go. Major weight. Two. Three. Good. Come on. Four. Halfway. Five. Nice, David. Six. Good. Seven. Yes. Last one. Come on. Come on. Eight. Nice one. Well done. <laughs> yeah, so David's doing really well. Really pushing himself. Um, I get the impression that it's not the type of training he normally does. I think he's more like strength based, um, trying to improve on his lifts and things like that rather than isolating each muscle group. So he's giving it a good go and he's really pushing himself. So yeah, proud of him. Six, six and six. So okay. we're doing 18 reps. But the first six are fast twitch fibers, which are gonna be two, two and two, yeah. Okay. So it's normal reps. The second six are going to be tempo four down, four seconds down, two seconds up. And then the final six are two and two again. Right, two okay. seconds up, two seconds down. like five sets to do on bench and it takes me like an hour to do them because I'll take a 15 minute break in between <laughs> then I'll go do my accessories take my good old time on them so this is pretty much just very fast paced a lot of hypertrophy work a lot of time on attention yeah this is nostalgic right now moved on to the next exercise which is a cable fly we're going to stand up and just isolate a bit more might do a variation where we're leaning forward but this is more about just a squeeze now Right, so we're going to attempt uh, a tricep dip, but we're going to do it obviously pull the uh, legs back, so we're going to isolate the chest more. Um, I don't normally do this on chest day, this is David's suggestion. Uh, I normally do it right at the start of a tricep workout, so uh, let's try it. <laughs> I 
suggest this exercise because it's one exercise for chest that I'm not absolutely terrible at and I can kind of do at any point in my workout so, so I, I need one to beat me I need one <laughs> I need one strong suit my training history I mean my first year I started out doing like really high rep like bodybuilding movements like training kind of infrequently eating like non calorically dense foods and like I did gain like a lot of progress made a lot of gains but it was mainly new gains and then I kind of decided to go into more of like the powerlifting heavy style training and eating really calorically dense foods and that's when I pretty much started really putting on size weight and strength and pretty much in the long run once I really get my strength up I'm gonna go back to like really really like hypertrophy style workouts and like exercise kind of like what I'm doing today kind of when I grow up and my muscles get mature I'll kind of transition back to that do you want to look like Ryan I mean I would be very happy to look like Ryan he's got a really good physique do you want to compete um I don't really have any plans to compete as of now but who knows what will happen in the future I mean my mind always changes people's minds change so who knows you love training though, don't you oh yeah well, I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life mm -hmm. yeah. So we're going to do a dumbbell overhead, that's what I like to call them. Uh, a lot of people do this for back, uh, I tend to do for chest and back. So what I'm doing with back, I have wider um, grip, which is isolating your lats more. But what I'm doing for the chest, I go close grip with a dumbbell and really squeeze my chest all the way through. Squeeze your chest the whole way through, so even if it's light. Contract your chest all the time. And as soon as it comes off, so it's about just over eye level, uh -huh. you back down. If you come further, it's moving to your shoulders and your lats. Yeah, I haven't done this exercise like, specifically in honestly probably like, two, three years, but like doing it right now, like it actually feels really, really, really good. I'm gonna incorporate it in my like routine daily like from now on because he just reminded me how good this exercise is. But yeah, it felt pretty good. Fantastic. Training with future Mr. O over here, Ryan Terry.